What is the worst advice you've ever received? When my mom was dying in hospice, a co-worker of mine told me I should at least let her family know, even though my mom told me she didn't care if they knew or not. Well, I let them know and I definitely regretted it. The sister and her kids made it an entire dramatic ordeal and had to be removed from the room. Her brother didn't even call or text, just sent his dingbat wife who didn't even notice my mom had already passed. Haven't heard from either of them in the years since she's passed. My mom was right. Just ignore the bully. He'll get bored. I wish my parents told me, duck that kid up. You're 16. Slap on the wrist. My parents always told me I will not get punished at home if I was sticking up for myself or others. Pretty blessed there. Yes my parents told us we can hit back. My brother was getting pushed around and picked on and he threw this kid on the floor and his mom came in and complained. My parents got called into school to discuss the incident with this kid's mom and my dad was just like yeah we told him he can do it so unless you don't want it happening again, teach your kid not to be a bully. It was nice having their back up. Work through the pain, it will make your back feel better. It didn't. Anybody that tells you to fight through the pain when dealing with a back problem is a ducking psychopath or simply doesn't understand how pain works. My ex coworker advised me to have a baby because I was suffering so badly from my depression. She said this would cure my bad mood. Come on, stop complaining and swallow it. No mom, I'm allergic to ducking soy, if I swallow it I'll probably die. When I was an aspiring educator, I received a lot of scary advice about how school teachers should run a classroom from people who were well intended, but were completely out of touch. The most memorable was from a woman who had been a special education teacher for years and her nugget of wisdom was to never say sorry to a student and never admit you're wrong. My philosophy as a teacher could never be more opposite. No need to go to the doctor, it's just a little rash. It was limes and I nearly died. Edit, it was the urgent care nurse who said this. I believed it, my mom didn't. The next place sent me to the hospital. My father once told me, when I was in my teens, don't ever try anything new because you might fail. That's like the opposite of what good parents are supposed to say. He had recently went out and tried a career change and failed. Kick it to see if there are any more bees inside. There were plenty of bees still inside. If somebody's mean to you it's because they like you. Can people please stop telling kids this? I used to believe it, too. Yeah, maybe sometimes it's true, but most of the time it's not. Especially above the age of 7 lol. You should let it pinch you, it won't hurt that much. It was the biggest crawdad I ever saw and I was maybe like 10 fishing with my dad. He didn't think I would be stupid enough to do it, but I wanted to impress him. The chaos that then ensued. I picked it up and let it pinch the soft skin between my thumb and hand promptly scream in pain, dad laughing his ass off tried to help just to be pinched by the other claw on the back of his hand. This cycle of continuous pinching continues as we stupidity try to help one another then finally we get it removed and my dad says to body slam it so I throw it as hard as I can back into the lake. Live above your means. It motivates you to do better ah. Uh. No. I was 19, thinking about maybe going to college or getting a job in finance. My friend's mom said no, don't do that. You know where the real money is? Shops. Working in shops. Former mother-in-law if you love him harder he won't hit you. Go on and get married, what's the worst thing that can happen, you are overreacting, they will change. Try to think of happier things when you hallucinate. Yeah. Let me just think of a unicorn, I can totally control schizophrenia. That'll help me not see the blurry faceless man following me in the hallway. Maybe I won't be so paranoid. That how that works, right? Happy away the illness. My ex's mum told me to stand under a tree if there was a thunderstorm. Nice try, Linda. 
Nice try. I get that lightning hits tall things, but does it bounce to you? Does it annihilate the tree and the burning fragments fall on you and burn you? Does the lightning have an aura of death that kills you as it runs down the tree? I know the advice but what's the reason behind it? I'm leaving a 40 hours a week consultancy job with 21 days annual leave to go to a 37 hours a week client side job with 28 days holiday and with a pay rise. The boss said to me, you don't make your career on your days off. Too right mate, but what I will do is look after my young family and mental well-being. I didn't want kids either until I got accidentally pregnant and then suddenly felt all maternal. Implying I should just give it a go? Went to the GP with my Tenmo son who had been struggling with a cold for a while and wasn't improving. She told me to rub Vicks on his throat because it is absorbed through the skin and to make him vomit to bring up phlegm. Later that day he was admitted to hospital with bronchiolitis. I refused to see her for any reason until recently when I didn't have a choice, and she gave me the same shitty advice for a sinus infection I'd had for three weeks. Don't move abroad you'll hate living in Germany then, once I was already in Germany don't move to Bavaria you will not like south of Germany etc. Anyways they were wrong. Glad I didn't follow their advice. When I have a problem with someone my wife just tells me to shoot them and be done with it. If only. Any dating advice from serial daters? Serial daters always seem to think they have the best advice due to their extensive experience, when in reality, unless your goal is also to serially date and never actually find a later, they only have a lot of experience because they continue to fail over and over again. I don't remember the context but some guy was arguing that he had a much greater insight into women than other people because he dated more than 100 women. So if he's in his 30s and he's been dating seriously since he's 20, that's more than 5 girls a year and rather than proving the guys is some sort of ultra chad that has super insight into women, it just proved that on average no woman is willing to put up with his sheet for more than a month or two. Be the bigger person beach I am 11 getting bullied by a teacher because I have anxiety tell that to her not me edit. Thank you for all the advice but I am no longer 11 lol so this teacher is just a shitty memory. I'm so sorry for all of you who have been in a similar position, it really sucks. This. My dad was constantly telling me to be the bigger person because my mother his wife was never going to change. I was 6 when he started telling me this. He was absolutely right but he did duck all about it instead of addressing it with my mother. He still does this. Takes her side 100% of the time. My cousin told me when I was young to just barely meet anyone's expectations for anything, and then they won't expect anything from you and you can just coast. Of course, that advice shouldn't be taken as an excuse to be lazy, but it can work. For me, I have anxiety and people like to bully me so keeping other people's expectations of me low is a win slash win. They're either pleased when I succeed or yell at me less when I fail. And I fail a lot. For people less lame than me, it's good advice if you don't want a promotion and are comfortable in your position. To everyone thinking everyone should strive and make that bank, remember that not everyone works at a Fortune 500 company and not everyone is money driven. With extra pay comes extra responsibility. In some circles, you just end up with the extra responsibility. I feel this one. It's a little bit true, but only contingent to your lot in life and definitely in the workforce, not academics. Hear me out, I used to work my butt off trying to be really great and really dependable at my job and it started burning me out I even had a nervous breakdown. My boss would hire new, young, shitty employees who didn't take the job seriously. I found their lack of work ethic disgusting and I ended up having to do all of their leftover work that they didn't get to in addition to my own. I have a different job now and I coast through it. I'm finding that doing only just enough and nothing more C. Bartleby the Scrivener has been much more beneficial to my mental health and my professional trajectory. I still have upward mobility without feeling totally exploited for caring. However, 
this is just my singular anecdote. Smile in your mugshot, because it's a picture that's gonna be out there forever. This canon will be used against you in a court of law. Prosecution, Exhibit A. The defendant's mugshot. This person is smiling. Does this look like the face of someone who is sorry? Someone who is remorseful? No. They are smiling despite the fact that they could have injured someone or worse. That is why we are seeking the maximum penalty. To show them that this is not something to be smiling about.